Forget Taco Bell and forget Hector's Taco Cabana, cause today we're making delectable fish tacos right in our own kitchen. Not only will this recipe fit right into your diet, it's also so freaking good, there's no way you'll eat just one. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a recipe I've been getting requests for in my comments for well over a year now. And to be honest, it took me a minute to really dial this in, but I'm telling you, the end product will be worth it. So without further ado, let's get this started. When it comes to making anabolic fish tacos, your actual fish selection is crucial. We want a good white fish. I wouldn't recommend salmon, wouldn't recommend flounder, and for the love of God, no sea urchin. Instead, we wanna opt for some cod. Not only is this one of the leanest cuts of fish you can buy, but it's loaded down with protein. Let's go. Now, when you buy frozen cod like this, it comes pre-packaged and pre-weighed. And the best way to thaw it is to just sit it in the fridge overnight and it'll thaw out on its own. If you want, you just sit it on your counter for a few hours, it'll do it that way as well. So all I'm gonna do is go in, cut the top, pull out my piece of cod, and then what I actually wanna do is go in with some scissors and cut Cut this into smaller pieces. That's gonna make it way easier to fit into our tacos. And then once we have our 168 grams of cod down on our mixing bowl, we wanna add some seasoning. I'm gonna start with a gram of paprika, a couple grams of cumin, a gram of garlic powder, and a dash of black pepper. And once the seasonings are in here, I'm gonna go in and shake everything together until all of our pieces of cod have a nice seasoned coating. Once our cod is seasoned, I'm just gonna set it to the side and talk to you guys about our tortillas. When it comes to tortillas, we have a couple different options. Traditionally, these are made with corn tortillas, which is what I'll be going with. These are roughly 60 calories a piece, and they work and taste great. But if you want flour, you can always buy these carb sense tortillas. They're only 45 calories a piece. They have added fiber, but in my opinion, for that authentic experience, we're gonna go corn. And with this recipe, we will be making three tacos. I'm gonna pull out three corn tortillas, grab them, and take them over to my skillet. We do need to prep these a bit. So what I'm gonna do is preheat a large skillet to medium heat, hit it with nonstick, and place one of these right down in the middle. I'm gonna let this cook for two to three minutes each side until all my tortillas are crispy and ready for prime time. And now that we got the tortillas going, it's time to get the fish ready. I have my air fryer basket here. I'm gonna hit it with nonstick, and I'm gonna place my fish pieces down here, being careful to make sure none of them are touching. And keep in mind, if you don't got an air fryer, you can easily skillet fry this fish, and it's gonna be just fine. But I personally think when you toss it in the air fryer, it gives it that little crisp on the outside, and really keeps that inside extra juicy. Now I'm just gonna put my basket down in the air fryer. Then all I'm gonna do is air fry this at 400 degrees for about seven, eight, nine minutes. It doesn't need much, as long as it reaches that internal temperature of 145 degrees, you'll know you're good. Let's go. And while everything is coming together on the back end, it's time for us to make a creamy cilantro lime sauce. We're gonna start with 15 grams of a guacamole salsa. Traditionally, you'd blend up avocado with olive oil and create a sauce, but our goal here is to keep those calories down. Avocado, it is good for you, it's very nutrient dense, but contains a ton of calories. So this way, we're gonna be able to get that creamy sauce without all those extra calories. Because at the end of the day, even if you're eating healthy foods, if they're high in calories, you're not gonna see weight loss. Next, we wanna add about two grams of cilantro, and to kick it up a notch and give it a nice tang, we're gonna add five grams of lime juice. You can buy fresh limes and squeeze them in, but personally, I like to buy this because it lasts in the fridge forever. Squirt it right in there. And then the final thing we'll add is 42 grams of plain, fat-free Greek yogurt. Gonna give us even more protein and really expand this sauce. If you don't mind a few extra calories, fat-free mayo will do the trick here as well. And then once we got everything in here, we'll just go in and stir it all together until it's fully combined and creates the perfect creamy cilantro lime sauce. And for more delicious, easy anabolic recipes to help you on your diet, don't forget I have a cookbook and it is available at the link in my description. Every recipe on this channel broken down in an easy to use guide that fits right in your pocket. This thing tells you what to weigh out, step-by-step -step instructions, everything you need to succeed. Cause this whole thing is not hard. This whole process is not hard. It really comes down to taking control of your nutrition. And with this thing, I really believe we've made the whole process about as easy as it can get. Plus you get this thing one time, you get every recipe I drop on the channel added to it for free for the lifetime. That's a heck of a deal. All right, anyways, let's get back to this recipe. And it's all starting to come together. Just pulled the fish out and get a look at how juicy and beautiful these pieces turned out. Nice little crisp on the outside, that seasoning's locked in. These are literally perfect. And then if we check the tortillas, you can now see that they're a little more firm. They got a little bit of a bend to them, but we toasted the backside. It changes that texture and makes them more crispy. For 60 calories a piece, that ain't too shabby. Now we build. So I'm gonna start by spreading down a layer of our cilantro lime sauce. And next, I'm gonna place my fish evenly across 
all three of our tacos. And then next up, we wanna add a little slaw. The simplest way to do this is to buy prepackaged slaw at your local grocery. This is power slaw, so it's a combination of red cabbage, kale, carrots, kalabi, a few other things, but really these are gonna be so low calorie, just get which one fits your preference. I weighed out 20 grams, and I'm just gonna evenly distribute this across all my tacos. And then the final pick for me is about five grams of white onion sprinkled on top of each taco. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you anabolic fish tacos. Eating healthy and eating delicious on a diet does not have to be a complicated or strenuous process. You literally get in that kitchen for a few minutes, follow some simple instructions, weigh out your food, and you'll be eating like a king or a queen while still making those results. Weight loss is not an inherently complicated process. You eat less calories than your body needs in a day, the results will come no matter what. When you follow recipes like this where you're not struggling to find good foods to eat, the whole process almost becomes effortless. If you guys made it this far into the video and you're enjoying it, please smash that thumbs up button for me helps the channel out more than you know comment your recipe suggestions down below as well and subscribe if you're not subscribed now let's get to trying these out Before we get into these delicious and beautiful tacos, don't forget the best tasting protein bar on the market is in stock. FinalBossFormance.com, Kadar GF10, saves you, holy crap, 10% on literally the best protein bar. If you still have not tried it, you gotta give it a shot, man. This Fruity Cereal Crunch flavor is out of this world. We also have a new flavor dropping soon, and we are discontinuing the PB&J and cinnamon. So if you really like those ones, which a lot of people did for me personally, those are some of my favorite ones to eat every single day, but it is what it is. If you really like those, you might wanna hop on that while supplies last. We are almost out. All right, man, let's get down to business. I'm gonna grab this beautiful one right here and check it out with these tortillas. You just fold it up like so and bingo. Ain't that a beauty. Three, two, one, let go. The combination of flavors here is incredible. That chipotle lime sauce. It's a little bit spicy from the avocado salsa, but it's got that lime tang to it. It's creamy. We get the hint of cumin from the way that we season the cod. Got the crunchy onions, the shell. Ooh. Mm, this is just phenomenal. And to be completely honest with you guys, I've never been the type of guy that goes to a restaurant and has ordered fish tacos, really. That's never my first thought. And it's because I had never really had them before until I started experimenting with this recipe and trying different versions. I never saw the allure, but now that I got this thing dialed in, it is literally something I could eat every single day. And when I tell you the calories and the macros for three of these tacos, it's gonna blow your mind. And the thing about a fish taco is you actually feel like you're eating something healthy. Like I've never ordered a regular taco from somewhere with taco meat and cheese and everything on it, sour cream, and ate it and felt like I was doing my body any good. But when I'm eating this right here, the air fried fish, the creamy sauce, all the vegetables that we have on here, the lean tortilla, I mean, I feel like I'm doing something positive for myself, you know? Now in this entire recipe for all three tacos, if you make it exactly how I did it, which you end up with for the whole thing, is only 364 calories, four grams of fat, 36 grams of protein, 46 grams of carbs, seven grams of fiber. That puts each taco right around 120 calories with about 12 grams grams of protein, a little over one gram of fat, and about 15 grams of carbs with a little over two grams of fiber. Per taco. This is what I like to call volume eating right here. This is a meal. Three tacos for anybody is a meal. You're gonna eat this, not only are you getting the micronutrients in from the veggies, but you're getting the fun factor of being able to eat tacos while you're on a diet. You saw what we just did, that was not a hard process. Get the tortillas ready, whip some ingredients together for a sauce, toss the cod in an air fryer after seasoning it. This is all basic elementary stuff. Half the battle is having the game plan in your head, going into that kitchen and executing. But if you can do that, not only are you gonna feel better, but the results will become apparent almost instantaneously. And truth be told with these recipes, by the time I get done taking the thumbnail, capturing all the footage, every time I sit down here to eat a meal, it's already cold. And you know a taco is fire when you're basically eating it cold and it's still amazing. And ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final bite of our third taco. Let's go. Mm. Holy cow, folks, this recipe is an easy 10 out of 10 in my book. You have to make this one. Tag me on Instagram after you try it. Let me know what you think. I know if you give this an opportunity and a shot, you're gonna love it, I guarantee it. And if you have my cookbook, this recipe has been added, so go get your updated copy. If you don't got it, I'm telling you, planning your meals, eating good while still seeing results, losing weight, building muscle, it's never been easier. When you have the guide in your pocket telling you what to do, there's literally no way you can fail as long as you're not just really bad at reading directions. If you can't do do that. And I don't know what to tell you, but the rest of you that can read, I really think you'd enjoy it. Link down below in my description. Appreciate you guys as always for checking out the channel. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment down below anything, man. It helps that algorithm. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Bam, bam, bam. We out.